Hey everybody, this is Jason from the Rogue Banshee and thank you for joining Team Banshee today as we talk about the Real Avid Master Workstation. On other products that I reviewed, you needed two hands to work with everything and they had clamps that you just had to really crank with your hand and my hands are not as strong as they used to be so this thing has solved a lot of problems for me. We'll start right up here with the gun gripper on the front yoke and as you can see here, I have my Benelli in here and this thing just kind of wraps right around the foreguard. And I just take the shotgun, and I can just put it right in there, and these things just wrap right around. Now, the other thing I like about this is one-handed operation. Now, check this out. With just the push of a button here, I can raise this front yoke. And unlike other products, this one has a positive lock, a mechanical lock. When it hits one of the areas where it'll lock, snaps right into place. That way, when I push on this front tower, it's not collapsing. Now, not only is this yoke one-handed, but also moving it back and forth is one-handed too by just pushing a button and sliding. And from there, it's locked into place. Now, that's a friction lock, not a positive lock. But that's okay because we're not putting a lot of force on the actual sliding of the gun. On the other side is really cool. We have basically a click clamp here. And I just clamp that shotgun in like that. And it's locked in. Now these are lined with foam, just like the gun fit jaws for the master vise. And this thing really clamps around the shape of your stock. As you can see here, I have right here for the sling. It just kind of molds right around it. It gives this thing a great fit that's not going to mark up the surface of a stock. Now I'm going to pull this shotgun out of here and to release this quick clamp, it's really easy. There's another tab right here. I just push and pull that right away. And I'll take this out. And now I can show you the tray. Now you have these little ridges in here, which is great because that way I can put tools in here and they won't roll around on my bench. They'll stay basically within these trays. Now you'll see in the front here, I have a lot of storage that I can put, you know, my screwdrivers. Now, right here is kind of cool. You can see I just have my screwdrivers right there. And they're immediately available. And for bits, you have little storage trays right here. That way you can keep those bits handy. Now the other thing you can do is you can put the bits right over here. They have these little hex holes right here. You can either put bits into, or you can put brushes, or any other accessories that you're looking to hold. And if it's not in the way of the gun, I can even put my screwdriver right there too. But I prefer them on the front here, that way I can just grab them really quick, and they're out of the way. Now you have these little holes here, which are really great for bottles of lube or cleaner, that you can just put right in there, and they're exactly where you need them. The other thing that's great about them is that they're magnetic. That way, if you're like mounting a scope and you want your screws readily available, they're right in this little tray and they're magnetic. So if for some reason you bump this thing, not a big deal. Now on these tubes, you also have this tray that's removable and it's magnetic as well. But it also has these things for the smart assist. Now these are attachments that have come later that I got a chance to play with it shot and are really cool because you'll have like a magnifier, a cell phone holder, because, well, I use cell phones for filming. It's great for me. And other attachments. Really cool stuff that's coming out. And it just goes right on, clamps right in. Now off of the side here, since these tubes are hollow, you can take your cleaning rods, stick them right in there. Great place to store them out of the way if you're cleaning your gun. Now I can go either left or right with these rods, just depending on where I want to put them. Now I'm going to drop this shotgun back in here because I want to show you something that we've seen on the Master Vice. And what's really cool about this is, is let's say you're mounting a scope. Well, you still have the feet here that are adjustable. That way I can adjust you know, the tip of this so that way I can level the shotgun or the rifle or whatever I'm mounting a scope on. But let's just say you just can't get that bubble just perfect. Right here is a leveling knob that we've seen on the Master Gun Vice. And you can see... I can just tip this back and forth just a little bit, plus or minus three degrees. Now I did a video a while back on how to mount a scope and level the reticles, and I was actually using this vise 
And this was the knob that I was using to get that fine tuning of the level of the rifle. Overall, this is a really solid design. I love that they have a metal tray rather than plastic because it's just gonna be a little more sturdy. And let's face it, plastic, you might have some reactions depending on the chemicals you're using. Metal's just not gonna have that. So if I do have a spill, it's gonna collect right in here and not go anywhere else. Real Avid is great at design. I love the tools that they come out with and things like this are really smart. What do you think about this vise? I really like it. It solves a lot of problems I've had with other vices and quite frankly, it's just easy to use. Comment down below on what you think about this. Now, if you're watching on YouTube, click right there. That's about gunsmith screwdrivers and why you need gunsmith screwdrivers while you're working on guns. Thanks for watching. Hope you're staying safe out there. Look forward to seeing you again soon.